Today we're going to have a look at our thermal pipe sleeves, our intumescent trunking sleeves, and our intumescent duct sleeves. Now, these give a good two hours minimum fire rating. And if you start with the pipe, say you've got uh, plumbing going through a fire resistant wall. You've cut a hole in the wall, you've got the, the uh, water pipes, whether they're copper or plastic going through. You need to fill and get the fire stopping properties back into that penetration. This is the easiest way to do it. There are 19 sizes of these. As you can see, good solid, big hole through the middle, just to prove they've got a hole. <coughs> you can slip these on into um, retrofit, so you've already got the pipe through, pick the various size, cut it to size, slip it on, that's it. This satisfies, these have thermal properties as well and acoustic properties, so it satisfies the water board. In the case of a fire, what will happen is intermescent material inside, will, uh, when the heat gets to it, will expand very, very rapidly into a big, black, gloopy lump that goes rock hard. It expands so quickly that with plastic pipe, it will actually crush the pipe. Not so much with copper pipe, but this does uh, prevent, with copper pipe, by the way, it does prevent um, the copper pipe corroding against cement in the wall, which I believe is a, another issue. It's exactly the same with the intermescent trunking. There are two sizes, 50 mil square and 100 mil square. And with the intermescent duct one, then there are nine different sizes. So all the options are shown on the website. And again, exactly the same. Both of these would be plastic. When it expands, it crushes and puts a big black solid lump, stopping fires from getting through those walls. If you want to see more details, all the various sizes, the prices, everything else, including data sheets, cost sheets, installation notes, everything you could need, just follow the links on this page.